What a wonderful platform you offer me to be here in Beijing and uh, uh, to have this talk with you. Thank you so much. We really appreciate it uh, very strong. Um, my name is Gertrud Eschlemann and I'm from Switzerland, from a very small part in Switzerland, close to Lucerne, um, St. Urban. And my husband and I, we founded uh, 10 years ago Art St. Urban, which is a very unique and special art and cultural platform in a very unique surrounding of a former abbey and uh, a former hospital. So the, uh, our headquarter is a former hospital, which we transferred the metamorphose from a hospital to an art center. For us, when, when we were confronted with the request of a curator, uh, when we were uh, contacted by Mr. Michael Shu, who is the executive director of Simoka Beijing, and um, he is the international coordinator for art projects, and uh, he's also the curator of the Passages exhibition in St. Urban. Uh, when we were confronted with the situation to have uh, around between 150 or how many tons of sculptures bringing to St. Urban, it was a big challenge. And good luck, my husband is uh, extreme strong in logistics. He's an engineer and he's very, uh, experience and professional in that. Uh, at least we could make it happen with uh, very e effective, efficient work to install this nearly 150 tons coming on 10 or 12 oversized trucks. This was really an outstanding process. And uh, seeing all these huge, huge, huge crates uh, uh, I couldn't imagine how it would like when the crates are open and the sculptures are installed. And when you, uh, when you think on that, that the first contact we had was in August 2013. And in January, February, the transport in Switzerland already happened. This is also, I think, a very unique and special, fast experience we had together and showed how flexible Professor Zheng Chenggang is, how flexible the curator Michael Shu is, and how flexible we are to make this happen. <laughs> and so we are all very happy now to have this great, wonderful, impressive, and emotional, strong, touching exhibition in St. Urban. These are three questions now <laughs> in yes. one, and every one is very difficult. So, uh, why China? Yes, uh, we also asked ourselves why China, because China is this huge country with this extreme dynamic, and, and we in this small country. But uh, Switzerland and China has relations since so many decades now, and um, uh, Switzerland is now the first country who had a free trade um, relation contracts. So um, why not also with art? And uh, we met uh, Mr. Michael Shu, who introduced us to Professor Zeng. Uh, and uh, we started uh, to work on a sculpture exhibition. But then we said, no, not only a sculpture exhibition, we do a whole festival to really go deeper in, in the culture and in uh, cooperation with Chinese artists, to know more, to learn more about Chinese art and to bring it to Switzerland. And what we also realized immediately is um, to go back to the old um, uh, wise Lao Tse. Uh, every journey uh, begins with a small step and uh, thousands of steps. But we realized immediately with China, we cannot make small steps. We must make big steps. We must make jumps. So we are immediate have been in a great, great cooperation, which we really appreciate very much. And um, so it started with this monumental, outstanding 
sculpture exhibition of Professor Zeng. And why in Switzerland and why in St. Urban? The incredible, unique surrounding of St. Urban, the spiritual place of this former abbey, uh, which is very, very unique for sculptures to, uh, to have the facade of this old Baroque building in, um, behind the prophets. It's such an extraordinary setting that we have thought they must be here in St. Urban, in Switzerland, and hopefully we can keep them for a long time. As I said before, we started with the whole festival. So the festival name is Chinese Artist in St. Urban, a passage to the Alps. And uh, this goes from, started now in May 2014 with the solo, monumental solo exhibition of Professor Zheng Chang, and uh, will be finished end of 2015. But I think it will not be finished, it will continue still, because we have already so many plans. The next step will be um, that we are venue of the incoming Spring Festival um, in Switzerland which will be in February, March, with a great exhibition, with another exhibition, uh, indoor and outdoor. And it will be followed by residency of uh, world famous artist, uh, uh, Gwyn Feng, uh, who will make, uh, create a whole exhibition on place for St. Urban, which is a great experiment we do and we are very, very happy that it will work out. It will be followed by the Young Artist program, where another young artist from a former student, from Professor Zheng Chengang, will be our guest in St. Urban for two months. And it will follow by the opening of the solo exhibition of uh, Gwyn Feng uh, exhibition. And then we have um, a kind of, um, uh, in the festival involved side events. And the side events uh, will um, show the traditional Chinese, um, it's a kind of art as well, like tea ceremonies. Uh, we will make workshop with calligraphic to learn that. And then, and, and I don't want to tell everything because uh, it, should be a surprise as well for our incoming program. <laughs> yes, this is one of our main works uh, we do and main love's passion. It's our passion as well. As anyway, art to, to promote art, to exhibit art, to show art, um, to support art is our passion. My husband, he's an entrepreneur, but he's also an artist since nearly 50 years now. And um, he founded an artist in residence program, special for young artists, uh, not to learn them, because they, most of them have their master, uh, but to show them new ways to get a, in the, to become a great uh, input, uh, to become an independent artist in a different way like many thousands else. So every artist is unique and to get unique tools, have a possibility to work with unique materials and so should be a door opener um, for the career of the young um, students. So we hope uh, St. Urban is such a very special platform, um, not only with the scenery where we are located, also with the concept we have that it will be a help for the young artists. We are focused in the moment on sculpture, young sculptures, and we are very happy that we will host now then the second young sculpture from former Tsinger University in Beijing, former uh, students of Professor Tseng, but we also support young musicians, and we are very happy and also a little proud that we already uh, um, performed three CDs and made it possible, thank young musician really got a great career in the meantime. <laughs>